what's going on guys it's omni York, and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be discussing my thoughts on the newest healing cap patch that was put into rise of kingdoms i've seen other content creators make videos about this specific topic and i feel very passionately about this topic and i wanted to make a video and so i want to talk about what i think about this patch and then i also want to talk about what I think Lilith could do that is actually better than this to combat the problem, right? Because a lot of people are upset right now. A lot of people are angry and they're yelling at Lilith and saying that this patch was bad, but I think it's important to realize that unless we can be constructive and give them feedback in a way that lets them know what we think is a better solution, they're just going to think that it's an angry mob and they're not going to respond to an angry mob. So let's first talk about what exactly this, this patch does. Essentially it limits the amount of healing that you can get to a thousand helps per day. So prior to this, people could heal troops in batches of two to 4,000 as fast as they could get 30 Alliance helps, which if you have an active Alliance, that could be one minute, that could be 30 seconds. That could be five minutes. Regardless, people could heal troops in batches of two to 4,000 very, very fast, right? What this is doing is it's limiting the number of helps that you can get to 1000 per day. And essentially I'm not going to do the math. Other content creators have done this math. There's been a million comments on YouTube, Reddit, whatever. Um, essentially what this means is you are capped to anywhere from 65 to 80,000 troops that can be healed through this method per day. Um, average, let's say on average 70,000 troops per day, that's not enough troops to sustain a war. And that's why people are upset. Um, prior to this, you could heal one or two full hospitals in a single day. And that is what we're used to. And this patch is limiting that in an attempt to fight botting. Allegedly, some alliances were using the Alliance help feature and abusing it with 30 bots. So anytime that they would ask for help, they would instantly get the 30 helps from a bot. So with the explanation out of the way, let's talk about my opinion on this patch. I personally think that Lilith should roll back this patch immediately. The amount of backlash that they're getting right now um, is insane. People are blowing up the official Reddit Discord. People are blowing up content creators' comments. People are blowing up the Google Play Store and App Store with one star reviews. And I've heard reports of people saying that the customer service chat line was essentially broken for the last 24 hours because they're getting bombarded with players complaining about this patch. Rise of Kingdoms is a complex game, and there's very few times where the entire player base rallies behind a single opinion, right? this people always are voicing their opinions in youtube comments and on social media reddit wherever about this game someone says one thing someone says you're an idiot for thinking that and whatever that's just the nature of the game because everybody is so passionate about it it's a war game people are gonna get angry at each other but the entire the entire player base thinks this is a bad patch right with no exception i have gone through youtube comments reddit comments threads all over the place and i have yet to see a single player say hey i think that heal botting was a huge problem and i'm glad that you implemented this patch so when you have a game like rise of kingdoms where nobody ever agrees on a single thing right to have the entire player base from free to play all the way up to pay to win agree that this patch is bad I shouldn't even have to tell Lilith that this patch should be rolled back immediately until they think of a better solution. Now the community's anger is self-explanatory, right? The reason that people are upset about this patch is because it negatively affects their gameplay immediately. Whereas the problem that it's fixing, right? And let's just come be honest, right? There's probably alliances that are abusing this feature, right? there probably are um but the problem that this patch is fixing is one that virtually zero players have experienced negative side effects from for example when have you ever heard somebody in kvk saying hey we would have won this kvk if the enemy alliance wasn't heal botting that's most players don't even know what that means, right? The average player probably didn't even know that there were bots in this game. Or if they did, they thought it was resource farmers, which in my opinion is a far worse problem, just so we're clear. And so 
people are mad because they very few right i don't want a blanket statement but very few players have been negatively affected by heal bots right very few and so when you look at a list of the number of of the things that are ruining rise of kingdoms right let's just say there's an imaginary list of things that are ruining the gameplay experience for most players kvk servers etc lack of new epic commanders whatever you want to say right whether you think it's too pay to win whatever there's a list of things that you think uh, you the viewer think that are ruining this game how far down that list is heal bot is heal botting it's not even on my list i don't even like like i said most players didn't even know this was a thing i've been playing this game consecutively for over 600 days i make countless youtube videos about this game and i'm very active in my alliance i've migrated kingdoms i'm active in kingdom chat occasionally i've networked with players across this game like like mad right like crazy more than the average player and out of every single person and alliance and kingdom and and anything that I've, anyone that i've ever talked to no one's ever brought up the problem of heal botting right and again I, i'm sure it's a thing i'm i'm sure it exists but it's such a minor problem at at this moment that the patch that is fixing the problem is worse than the the ailments that it's fixing and so that's why people are mad because limiting this the amount of heals per day is far more detrimental like objectively right this is not we're no longer talking opinion we're talking the ability to sustain and wage war has been capped by this patch and that is a far more detrimental effect that players are experiencing than going up against an alliance that is using a heal bot because if, if we look at what this is doing if th this is essentially saying that you can heal between 65 and 80 thousand troops per day pretty quickly with alliance helps if you're not in an active alliance right and so what that's doing is it's putting a cap on how fast free-to-play players can heal their hospital because free-to-play players are not going to use universals on their hospital right any free-to-play player that is serious about getting t5 troops will not use universals to heal their troops and i wouldn't even recommend they do it if they wanted to right if someone came up to me and said homniarch you know i want to participate in kvk you know i i filled my hospital should i should i speed it you speed ups to heal it down i would say no right just take the l in kvk get to t5 and then you're more effective and so the problem is that free-to-play players are now limited with how effective they can be in the open field and thus pay to pay to win players um have another advantage right and and they already had a long list of advantages so that's why people are mad and honestly this affects pay to win too right it does because players that spend a lot of money fight a lot and if they fight a lot they would like to be able to heal a lot and so this ruins the game for everybody and you know i i, I don't want to say ruins the game but it really makes it less fun what would the argument for this even be you could say well you know you're just gonna have to be more um, conscious with your troops when you're in the open field and pick and choose your battles more strategically and you know don't foolishly go into the open field and fill your hospital too fast you know you really want to pick your battles and all of those suggestions sound good on paper but the problem is the the importance of field fighting it has not gone away just because this is this is the thing right to effectively take ground in kbk or any war you need field presence and the only players that will be able to sustain that field presence now are people who are using universals or healing speed ups through purchases and that's the problem and so you could say well pick your battles more carefully which is true but you still have to fight right there's you're still gonna have to fight on favorable battles at some point and what this is going to do is make players fight less that's literally the direct outcome if we if we look into the future and we say okay what is the outcome of this patch it the the outcome is players will fight less and you know that just makes the game less fun like straight up like the, if you're not fighting as much in a war game if you have a patch in your war game that limits the amount of fighting you can do dude like that's the definition of counterproductive and so less fighting means less fun less fun means less activity and eventually players just quit like let's just be 100 percent honest like if, if people are bored with the game they're gonna quit your game with that being said 
let's talk about some solutions to this problem i'm not a game developer i don't know anything about coding or software development or anything like that so these are solutions that i have read on the internet and thought of myself uh from a logical perspective so there may be some limitations to these things that may make them impossible to do and because of reasons i don't understand but let it's important to at least discuss ideas okay so i let's talk about one idea i heard one idea i heard is that you could make it so barbarian forts drop more healing speed ups than they do currently so if you guys didn't know i know it doesn't show up in the potential rewards here but you can get healing speed ups from barbarian forts um this is a step in the right direction i like this idea the problem that i have with this idea is that the amount of healing speed ups that they would need to give you in barb forts to compensate for this patch would be ridiculous i'm talking you would need hours of speed ups per barb fort right and the other issue with this problem is that now free to play players will be expected to grind barb forts which you know the it, you're doing that already with your ap regeneration but should we now recommend free-to-play players use ap potions on barb forts like ap is already a limited resource for free-to-play so now they have to use it on barb forts just to fight in the open field i don't think that's a good solution right i think that free-to-play players should save their ap potions for events that are most beneficial to their progression towards t5 and bar barb forts i'm sorry they're just not one of them and so the problem with this solution which i think i think this solution's better than um what they currently have obviously because it's giving us more healing speed ups but again i don't think it's a great solution one suggestion that i thought of and i'm sure other people have suggested this but um what if you just ap applied this patch to alliances that lilith suspects are abusing this feature we're talking about a mobile game that is entirely data driven the the reason that lilith has constant updates and constant bundles and constant you know they time more than gems perfectly between recharge events like this game is so data driven and that's let's be honest that's how they make money and that's okay i i'm willing to pay for a game that i think is fun so with the amount of data that lilith has i'm sure they could figure out which alliances are abusing this feature i just can't imagine a world where lilith doesn't know how many alliance helps each alliance is using every single day and i think that if you were to look at a list of all the alliances in the game there would probably be some outliers and those are the ones abusing this feature i don't hey like listen again this is just logic right if there are outliers they're the ones abusing the feature so you should punish those alliances with this patch because that's what this is right you just literally this patch literally just punished the entire player base for what some players are doing another suggestion that i've seen that i personally think is really good is that instead of limiting the number of helps that you can receive you switch it so that way you limit the number of helps that you can give right so instead of me being able to only receive a thousand helps per day for healing you switch it so that way i can only help other players heal a thousand times per day with the caveat that once you hit vip eight or nine this limit is removed right so the way that this would work is that if you're vip seven or lower you would only be able to help your alliance heal troops a thousand times per day once you hit vip eight then there would be a specific reward that's listed in the vip exclusive buffs here it would say right here it would say unlimited ability to help your alliance members so essentially what this would do is for everyone vip eight and higher it would restore the game to normal as long as they're not botting right and be, the reason that the vip eight part of that solution is important is because it's unlikely that a bot farm is going to gem up to vip eight for every single bot and i think that's what's important to take away here is that we don't have to completely solve this problem and destroy every single bot what lilith has to do literally all lilith has to do is make it more expensive for the bot farmers to run their bots than it would be to simply buy healing speed ups if lilith does something that doesn't completely remove the ability to bot 
but it does make it so time consuming and so difficult that it would actually be cheaper to spend just to spend money on healing speed ups well then boom your problem is solved without even having to actually fix the problem nobody's gonna spend more money running bots if it's cheaper to just buy healing speed ups another solution would be you know we already have an anti-cheat uh piece of software built into the game right what if we made instead of having that on a regular timer and full disclosure i don't know if this is on a regular timer or if it's random what if lilith tracks suspicious activity on a bot account and if it detects that the bot is is suspicious then it pops this anti-cheat more frequently so for example if you have an account if, if lilith is observing an account and as soon as the help button shows up here they click it every single time thousands of times a day instantaneously right that's obviously a robot and so that account gets moved to the suspicious list and then the anti-cheat feature pops up three times more frequently or five times more frequently just make it annoying right just make it annoying and again what this is going to do it's not going to stop someone the, from being able to run a bot it's just going to make it so annoying and time consuming that they would actually have to pay somebody to sit there and complete that anti-cheat over and over and over again and the amount that they would pay that person to do that would be more expensive than it would cost for them to just straight up buy healing speed ups another solution is a different anti-cheat feature right I mean like let's just let's just call it how it is if we're having a bot problem then your anti-bot software is not working like it, it is what it is and so it might be time for lilith to explore different options when it comes to anti-bot software or more strict ban options now i'm not going to pretend like lilith hasn't tried this i'm sure they have right because the integrity of their game is directly linked to how many people enjoy playing it and so if the game is filled with bots people aren't going to play it and so it is in lilith's best, in best interest to have the best anti-cheat software that there is um so i'm sure they've probably tried to improve it um it, but it's still worth noting that hey like if they haven't fully invested in a better anti-cheat then they should be probably looking at that first what if we thought about this problem in a different way right so there's obviously a bot problem but what if we look at it as what if lilith made it harder to have bot accounts or to create bot accounts i think if you limit the amount of accounts that you can have per device so for example i can have an unlimited amount of characters on this device right or on this account what if Lilith limited this to maybe six accounts per uh, or six characters per account? If we limit the, if we make it more difficult to run multiple accounts, which I'm assuming is what bots are doing, like bot software, I'm assuming each account probably has multiple characters on that account to run bots. I would suggest that Lilith make it just straight up harder to make accounts, right? Limit the number of characters you can have per account. I think if you limited it to like six, most players are probably cool with that, right? If you're, if you're running more than six accounts as a regular player, like that would be shocking to me. Now, to be fair, this suggestion is my least confident of the list, right? Because I'm, I'm sure some of you do have a ton of accounts and I don't actually know how effective this would be at uh, combating the bot problem. But again, it's worth noting that if you can make it simply just make it harder for bot accounts to be created, I think that would have a trickle down effect at the number of bots you see in, in use, which would effectively combat this problem in a better way than <laughs> negatively affecting the entire play. I, I can't even like to me this this wouldn't like if somebody came up to me and said, hey, you know th there are too many people there are some number of people uh heal botting this solution would never even come to mind for me like i as a logical individual i would never suggest this specific solution because it does more damage than it does good guys if you have suggestions on what you think lilith should do to fix this problem i want to hear it in the comment section below obviously i threw out some suggestions but again these are all just logic based not not practically based i don't know if they're possible but we need to make this a discussion right we need to talk about this and figure out a better way to handle this solution figure out a better way better way to both combat bots without ruining the gameplay experience for literally everybody and i hope to hear some really great feedback in the comment section below with that being said guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it if you enjoyed the video if you understood what i said and if you agree with some of the opinions that i have in this video i would appreciate a thumbs up it really does mean a lot if you're new around here 
subscribe to the channel click the bell i would really appreciate it that way you guys get notified the next time that i upload another rise of kingdoms video as always social media links are in the description below as well as my discord if you want to come and discuss this issue with me show your ideas whatever i'm not a sponsored creator so i don't have direct access to lilith but i would still love to talk about this problem with you guys and see if we can figure out something better my twitch link is in the description below i do live stream usually one or two times a week on there with rise of kingdoms however um recently now that things are starting to open back up this is just a personal thing some places are still getting hit really hard so everybody please stay safe still um but some things are opening which means i am back to work uh almost full time and so that means that i have less time to dedicate to content creation and when that happens i focus more on youtube than streaming however um hopefully i can still stream a couple of times a week over on twitch make sure you drop a follow down there and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching and this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace